Welcome! This video tutorial will explain the best way to print plans from Cabinet Vision. You can print from almost any view in Cabinet Vision by selecting the print option from your menu bar. However, a significant feature of Cabinet Vision is the drawings area, which is where you can arrange your images and customise information about your job on various pages to achieve a well presented and informative set of plans. The drawings area can be accessed by selecting this tab. To make your plans available here, you must send each required view to the drawings area. Go to the view you wish to print, right click on the workspace and select To Drawing. This view will now be available to use as a scene in the drawings area. You can send as many views to the drawings area as you like. You can also send views to the drawings area as a live drawing. This means that the scene will always stay current or live with the view that it was taken from. So if you make changes to your design after you have sent the view to the drawings area, a live drawing scene will update automatically. You need to be careful here because too many live drawing scenes in the drawings area can slow your system down and it can increase the job.cvj file greatly. When sending 3D views to the drawings area, you must determine whether you want them to be viewed as a bitmap or a hidden line image. The bitmap option will create a scene that is exactly how you see the image whilst in 3D view. The hidden line option will convert your 3D view, whether it be wire mode, fill mode or texture mode, to a scene that is a black and white outline image. To set your preference for how you would like your 3D views to default when you send them to your drawings area, go to the 3D view, right click on the workspace and select properties. Choose your preference on the general tab and select set as system defaults, then select OK. Now when you send your 3D view to drawing, your selection will apply. It is important to understand the things you can achieve when you are in the drawings page. Here are some of the main tools to be aware of. You can turn the grid on and off by selecting the snap grid option at the bottom right corner of the screen. You can add new pages to create multiple sheets to arrange your plans on. On the sidebar you can view the available scenes that have been sent to the drawings. You can also right click on the page to access options for the page itself. Go to properties to set your preferred paper size and orientation as well as a title block as default. Title blocks are made up of CAD, in other words shapes and text. They assist with the presentation of your layouts for printing purposes. Title blocks can be set up to contain text fields that retrieve data from other areas of cabinet vision, such as the job properties for example. This makes the printing and presentation process more automated. Title block templates can be customised and created in the drawings library, which is accessed from the ribbon bar in the drawings area. Now that you know how to send your views to the drawings area to create a list of scenes, you can begin to arrange them on the pages. Left click on the scene in the list on the sidebar, drag it and drop it onto the page. Once it's on the page, you can resize it by dragging the stretch points or move it by clicking to pick it up and clicking again to drop it in a new location. You can also right click on a scene to access more options. You can have multiple pages with as many scenes per page as you like. When you have all the scenes arranged on the pages in the drawings area, you can double click on a scene to access the CAD tools and make modifications to the CAD on the selected scene. You can also double click on the page to access the CAD tools and make modifications to the CAD on the selected page, including the title block. Now, to print the sheets in your drawings area, simply select the print option from the shortcut on the menu bar. You need to select your printer that should already be set up on your computer and you will also need to go to the printer preferences to ensure that the paper size here is consistent with the paper size you previously set in your drawings area. You can also choose what pages you would like to print if you have more than one sheet. If you want to keep copies of your drawing pages on file or send them in an email, you need to print them to a PDF creator or PDF printer. The steps are the same as if you were printing hard copies to an actual printer, but you need to have a PDF printer set up in your printer options to choose from instead of your standard default printer. There are several well-known applications that will write PDF files and there are even some free ones on the internet that you can download and install. Open your internet browser to search for free PDF creators. Select one of your choice, 
keeping in mind that Planet does not necessarily recommend or support any particular PDF creator. Once you've made the selection, install the free download. Once it's installed, the PDF creator should automatically be available for you to select from your printer options. Now when you print to this PDF printer, you will be prompted to give your file a name and importantly nominate a location of where to save it. Once it has been created, you can then simply attach the PDF to an email to share the plans with others. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching our quick video on printing plans from Cabinet Vision.